Hey everybody, welcome to another StarCraft commentary. This is commentary number two. As you can see, this has gone away now, finally. Uh, that was a stupid mistake. But today, we got an awesome game. Another one from MLG Columbus. We got up here, it's the Red Protoss. We've got Liquid Tyler, otherwise known as Noni for those who are, you know, from the old school days. Down here, we've gotten as the Blue Terran, Six Jacks Mayor, who is a, or Major, or Mejor, depending upon where, how you're going to pronounce it. He's a Mexican Terran player. Part of the newer team, Six Jacks, which I'm not too familiar with, actually. Uh, again, we're doing it in Zalago Caverns. Uh, this is not a bias on my part, but um, I chose this map for this game for a specific purpose to uh, for a friend of mine. So that's about it. But uh, as you can see, ooh, we got the typical openings going on for our two players. Uh, nothing really crazy can happen yet, I guess. He's not saving up his chrono boost, so we're not going to see anything like uh, cheese or anything like that. But then again, from Tyler, I wouldn't expect any sort of cheese. And Major, Major, I don't really know too well, actually. He's um, he's not really a player that I'm familiar with. Uh, this will probably be actually the first game I've ever seen him play. But um, so far, I haven't seen anything. He's just uh, you know building a barracks. Uh, so I'm going to have to see how this Major guy plays out. Uh, so far, no gas, which could be uh oh there you go okay never mind so he is making his guess which is likely meaning that he's either going to put a expansion onto his racks or make a factory before he expands not too surprising it's very common happening now up here we have a first gas in production for tyler as well which is fairly standard as well and i just have pylon at 15 which is again most standard thing in the world both players are going rather standard today and um, got the scouting probe going around seeing that the racks finished and of course it's gonna make a marine to stop the scouting probe and the orbital command is coming in just as expected but he did see that the one gas he doesn't see a quick second gas which is a sign that you're probably not gonna see banshees really early but uh, that is something important to know. So, what will we see? Our uh, cybernetics course. So we're obviously not seeing a two gate or anything like that. But I wouldn't expect to see that in a PVZ. It usually doesn't work out too well. Second guy is going down. So Tyler again playing the most standard, standard, standard you could possibly imagine. Over here in Major's base, we have the second gas going down, which is a definite sign that we're probably going to see a factory. Yep, there we go. And so the factory tech, and then. Most likely what he's going to do is he's going to do a uh, barracks, factory, and then he's probably going to expand. That uh, is a fairly natural TVP opener. Uh, down here, he's got a <laughs> little cute little patrol there to stop any probes from sneaking past the marines. Over here, we have the uh, scouting SE for from Major getting pushed back by Tyler, sadly. So he's not going to get too much information. And now we're going to see what the next building is for Tyler. Tyler is going to be building a robo facility. So uh, again, that's still fairly standard. That means we're probably going to see, uh, after the Observer anyway, we're probably going to see Colossi in this game. Uh, getting a Robux facility this early usually is a sign that you're going to get a Colossus. Or you're really worried about scouting. I have no idea there. So uh, next production building. So instead of an expansion, we've got a starport. So... Um, I'm going to bring back an old term from the beta, I believe that's called the Destiny Cloud Fist build, and a tech lab going on to the factory, which means we're most likely, as we see in almost every Terran game, we're probably going to see tanks. Or he's going to switch the two, and we are going to get delayed Banshees, which is fairly effective in itself. Oh, you can see the factory is flying off, so he is building, he did build that tech lab simply for the starport. The starport's going to just, uh finished building, and then I'm thinking he's probably going to go into make a couple Banshees. Fairly common thing for Terran to do versus Protoss. As you can see, two more gates going down for Tyler. Still no expansion from either side yet. Warp gate almost finished. And, ooh, what is Major doing? Oh, he's just looking for proxy pylons. That's a sign of a good player. Always on the lookout for things like that, because Protoss can be tricksy in that sense. Okay, so... Over in Major's base, we can see something very important. He's building Cloak for his Banshees and his first Banshee. So we're going to be seeing some of that now. And a tech lab going down again for the factory. And he's been constantly producing Marines. He's got... Okay, never mind. He's got six Marines. But uh, he's still staying rather on top of it. we got an Observer coming out for Tyler. Not too surprising. Are we going... Now we're going to see an Expand. Fairly good. Now, 
What we see after this is going to pretty much be the definition of Tyler's build. We're not obviously not seeing a four gate because he's expanding and he built a robo facility. So the only one I could anticipate is going to be a build in. Yeah, just the only thing I could possibly imagine is he's going to make a support bay eventually. Uh, he's making stalkers right now uh, because I don't. Oh yeah, there you go. He sees the banshees. That's why he's making stalkers. Smart, smart man. Uh, so, food-wise, they're still about neck and neck. Tyler's a little bit ahead, but nothing in a sense that would really make a huge difference uh, in the short term. Especially because nobody's really harassed yet. And now, oh my, we see a raven coming out for Major. That's to uh, snipe down those observers. They can be annoying. So, here comes the cheese from Tyler. And, ooh! Not a good spot for Major. He's going to get a few free shots off, and then he's going to have to run away. And, yeah, that was just completely shot down, sadly, for the Mexican Terran. So, oh, we got a transfer off of here of probes going to the expansion. Main arting is going correct on time. As you can see, we've got a good mix of gateway units for Tyler. And he's still... Oh, Nope, oh, he's just building a fourth gateway. Still no teching, still this robotics facility is out of commission right now. I don't know what tech he's going to go. Maybe he's, he could go for upgrades or he could go for a uh, robo support bay. But I would think the support bay would be more likely just because he's playing versus Terran. And uh, if he sees the two racks here, he means there's going to be a lot of marines. But Major is doing a big push out here. He's got the Raven for... The point defense drone, he's got marines, he's got tanks. The tanks don't have siege though, so they're gonna have limited uh, success probably. But this is probably just a situation because Major is a little bit behind. As uh, you can see, this expansion's already up for Tyler, and that means that Major needs to do something in order to get ahead. Ty uh, Tyler is also creeping further and further ahead, as you can see, 76 food to 62 food. The production mechanism for Tyler is just going to go up the longer he has a base up on him. So Major is going to do a little bit of a contain here, which is hard to do on the natural because of this little hole here in the middle. But their siege mode has finished, and now it's going to be really hard to storm his position. There, one siege shot goes off, but not much damage. There we go, back in, back down, and then the attack comes out. Oh, oh, the zealots are coming in. They're being shelled by the tanks. Is there enough marines to defend this? That does not look like it. It looks like this is going to be shut down before it even gets started. The contain is more or less defeated. Oh, wait, never mind. It's, oh, nope, the second tank, or our tank goes down. So now, oh, the, the bunkers are done. So now Tyler backs off. Unfortunately, the Observer is still alive, so we're not going to see that. One of the bunkers goes down, and now the Marines are chasing down what's left of the Gateway units. But good force field use is going to save them to fight another day. Unless he re-engages them right here. <laughs> so we, got, we see another round of Gateway units coming into play to push down this, uh, this bent bunker here. And Major GG's. A quick game. Uh, Major was behind when Tyler expanded and attempted to do a contain to put himself ahead and get himself room for his own expansion, maybe even take a third real quick as well. But unfortunately, Tyler was able to push back that that move, and Major understood that he was too far behind to really get caught up. Uh, 58 food to 27 food. So yeah, GG, and I will guys see you guys next time.